pushing them four wheel drives cause we love some mud and when we party we ain't stopping till the sun come up alright guys <clears throat> guess this is gonna be part two um I've already got the motor taken out the whole front end took off the hood taken off you'll see that in video one um I've got the uh rear end center easel here and what I've done is between here and here is like almost 13 all right between here and here is 12 and a half and this is 12 and three quarters so or something like that it, anyhow what I've done I've measured it and I've got these quarter inch steel stock flat stock I mean what I've done, I've made four of them. They're six inches long. I've marked a couple of them for my bolt holes to uh, to match all four of these holes right here, right here, you know, right here, right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bolt it to the inside of here. And then when I stick up inside of here, on the inside of this frame, it'll, it'll go right up to the frame. So that's working out pretty good for me. Um, I am going to have to move this forward some because the motor and the pulley have to have room. So I'm going to have to get that pulley off of there and probably, well, I might have to end up cutting the front of this frame. I don't want to, but I mean, if I have to, I have to, I can reinforce it some way else, but. You know for a pulley to get through there but yeah let me get the holes drilled in here All right. so right what there. i've done so far i'm gonna show you i've got this side made as you can tell uh, that's my plate that i've made on both sides got it bolted <clears throat> later on i'll uh i'm gonna weld all this right here you know both sides to make it stronger uh, but right now this is just for mock-up um, also got some stuff in the mail today from uh, Michael Steele I believe I said his name right he sent me a golf ball so uh, it's got a hole in it so I'm taking it as if shifter knob so I'll probably end up using it on this build uh, sure to appreciate that man uh, he also sent me uh, let's see how big this pulley is. Let me find my tape measure right here. Two inch pulley with an inch up. I think it's an inch. Three quarters. Also sent me a five inch pulley. Man, this thing is no six inch pulley. But I believe the inside of it will end up being uh, five because it sets down in there quite a bit. So. <clears throat> but yeah and it is a inch uh inside diameter so yeah also sent me a coil for the uh for for that motor because the cool is bad on that one uh when it gets warm it wants to quit running so whoop, whoop. cool got that in uh i'm gonna send him uh, let's see, where did it go? I think it's over on my workbench. Right here. <clears throat> he needs this, uh, twin opposed coil, so I'm going to send it to him. Hopefully it works out for him. Send it off Monday. Big shout out to him. Uh, he's on Facebook, Michael Still. Appreciate it, man. You didn't have to send me all that stuff, but, uh, really do appreciate it. Wasn't expecting, uh, extra small pulley and, uh, gear shift knob but yeah matter of fact it's gonna be taking the place of uh this shifter knob because i'm gonna put the 206 in the back of the or, yeah the mst 206 in the rear of this it'll either be back here or it'll be for the for the front however i'm gonna do it but i'll end up i'll, I'll use it on this project but yeah let me get busy and finish making the other side of this all right, guys. And we'll get it set up there and see how it looks. I've got her setting up in there. 
It is on. Now let me sit down here. It's on a jack stand right now, but you get the idea. What I've done, took quarter inch plate, flat steel, and uh, cut it six inches long. And what it's going to do, it's going to bolt to the inside of my frame. But later on, I'll actually, I'll weld these brackets to the frame after I get all this mocked up. I'll weld that. And then if I ever want to take this out, all I got to do is take my bolts out right here. And then I did the same exact thing to the other side. You can see up inside of there. All of it's going to be welded solid. But for right now, I'm going to drill a couple of holes just to leave it hanging in there, you know. I, I want to get it mocked up, basically. But yeah, you can see how much wider that front end is going to stick out than a back end. So, I'm going to have to do something. Give me some offset front wheels. That way they can sink in a little bit. Because to be honest with you, I don't like the wheels sitting out real far um, up front. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I've got to build I'll me a bracket. With it if I'm going to go from here up to the frame to help support the front. You know, as as well as the back, you know, it every little support actually helps. I'm also going to build, uh, if I can, I'm going to figure out some way maybe to tie into these two bolts All to right, build a, a support up here too. I've got it bolted up. Not sure if it's going to stay in this exact spot, but I went ahead and put all four bolts in it. So it's got eight bolts on each side, eight nuts. Eight bolts over here, eight nuts, 16 washers on each side, 32 if you count them right. I used the original two holes that had the original stock um, front end on this Craftsman. The other two original ones are right here. All I had to do is just drill out two more over here. And same right, thing yeah. over on that. It's on the end of it, but just for giggles, I went ahead and threw something on it. The hood. Man, that thing makes it look even tougher with that hood on there. Stupid autofocus on this camera. I'm liking it a lot. Looks pretty, pretty tough like that. Alrighty, y'all. Don't you weep on me? Well.